This whole show is a band of misfits. Definitely. I wonder if you identify at all with that misfit side of her. Oh, yeah. It's you a do. gang of underdogs. Totally. I think I've felt that way. I mean, working on a show like Community, which was such a big part of my life, and I think all of us together always just felt like the forgotten show on NBC. Like, we were part of the lineup that was like, Parks and Rec, The Office, 30 Rock. And then there's that other show. Nobody look at that show. Did it feel that way? Oh, yeah. Maybe this has something to do with with how I see myself, even, and looking at other actresses who seem like they really have it together. And, like, I never have, I don't know, have felt totally that way. But I've always been really focused on work. And, you know, it's like there are, you know, actresses who have been very successful, and they'll often be like, well, I didn't care at all if I even got that job, and so it just fell into my lap, and that's how it happened. And I'm like, I've never felt that way. I've always cared way too much, and I guess everyone can tell. It's like my constant battle to be like, I don't care if I get this job. Is this working? Do you well, think that's true? <laughs> you know, what's funny about that is that, is that, that sort of um, describes your audition process on this show, because you know, there are actors who will say, the last thing you want to do is give off the stink of desperation. <laughs> and yet it seems yeah. like that was but maybe something. part of your appeal on this. <laughs> I guess so. And it's like at the same time, I didn't even totally know I was doing it. I just really wanted it that bad. So I was just coming in to do whatever they wanted. And the, probably the truth is that I don't really care for very aloof people. Right. It's just not my thing. It's never going to be the vibe I put out, unless I actually don't care. And then you are, that's when you are really in a position of great power. But then you don't care anyway. But then you don't care, so it's like, it's not a thing that's even worth getting. Right. I think that's a strange <laughs> phenomenon. It is. Oh, it drives me crazy. I, I mean, I would never want to be the type of person who didn't <sighs> feel their own, like, stakes. Yeah. Because then why are you even there? Yeah. Go find something where you care. Yeah, maybe find it. Maybe this isn't, yeah. oh, you've had great success at it. I guess then it, it's good for you. But, you know, yeah, it feels nice to care a lot about something. I feel like Army Hammer probably walks in. He's like, I don't care. <laughs> he doesn't care. No. He doesn't need any of these jobs. <laughs> and they're like, he's the guy. He is the guy. God, that air of. He has that I don't care thing that we Je love. Je ne sais quoi. We couldn't put a finger on it, but he just didn't <laughs> seem to care. I know. That's never me. And that's a similarity I have with Ruth, definitely, that just I wear my heart on my sleeve in that way. And the stuff I really care about, I make known. Hey folks, thanks for watching. If you like what you just saw, then why not subscribe? Click right here for lots more off camera. And if you want to see the hour long version of these conversations, I'm going to give you the secret link. Here it is, offcamera.com. Check it out. <laughs>